So in the last lesson, you'll remember we looked at reflection method. Now we're going to be looking at reflection property, which I'm sure you can imagine is very similar. So if we just change these variables and delete all of this for now. Now what we need to do is replace this, which was the method name here, with a property name, which in this case is going to be data. And I just inserted some placeholder data here. So now what we can do is we can print other class methods to get a list. And as you can see, there's not as many as with the reflection method, but they're still all very helpful nonetheless. So let's play around with this. Let's say echo RP get name. And we're going to get data since that's the name of the property. Uh, we're going to skip this one because this is a little bit more complicated, but we'll look at that later. Same with the same goes with this uh, is public. Obviously, this property in particular is private is protected. Sorry. So we're not going to get anything here. But if we were to change it to is protected, we're going to get one, which means true is static. Obviously, that's not static. But if we were to change it like so, uh, refresh, and we get true, let's remove that. Uh, what else do we have? Well, that's about it that we need to know. Um, now what we're going to look at is how we can get the value. Now you'll see that if I just get value and we'd probably need to print uh, this because it's actually an array. We're going to get a fatal error. Reflection exception with message cannot access non-public member Acme user data, which means that the, the, the visibility of the property isn't public. So we can actually fix this. We can say RP set accessible to true. And now you'll see that we get another error. And this is because get value expects one parameter. Just like with our reflection method, we need to pass in an object of the class that we're trying to re re uh, retrieve a property from. So let's do that now. User equals new Acme user. And we'll just pass this in down here. And we'll just echo pre to make things a little neater. And as you can see, we get all of this data that we set in our user class.